Hey guys, it's Grayson. Sorry that I'm a little hoarse. I think I'm getting sick, which is not good at all, but anyway. First, I want to show you guys how to properly calculate what size wrist you have for the bracelets that I'm going to soon put up for sale, which I'm excited about. Here's how you properly calculate your wrist size. Sorry for the lighting, but I'm just going to show you quickly how to properly calculate your wrist size in inches. What you need is just a basic string and a ruler. What you want to do is take the string and place it under your wrist, then take one end side of the rope or string, whatever you're using, and bring it around to the other side of your wrist. What you want to do is you want to give yourself some room so that it's not completely cutting off your circulation. And just basically mark down, you can take a marker, or pencil, or just with your fingers, and find the point where the string comes to the other side of your wrist and meets the rest of the string. As you can see, it ends right here for me. So what you want to do is basically either you can just pinch where the string touches and calculate this length. And what you do is you take the one pinch side, make sure you bring it down to the zero part of the ruler, and then calculate to the very tip of the string on the ruler. And mine is 7.5 inches, if you can see that. If not, you still now know the number. <laughs> Mine's 7.5 inches, but basically what you want to do is just give me that calculation and it's just easy for me so I know what size I need to make for bracelets for you guys and so I know that it's not going to be cutting off your circulation. Give yourself like a little centimeter more of room for your bracelet so that it can be fitted loosely. Nice and loose where you can bring it around your wrist, you can move it, and it's not cutting off your circulation. You see how I have the breathing room here, so it's just, it's easy, it works. And that's how you properly calculate your wrist size. So I'm gonna make this short and simple, because I want to get started on my website and getting the bracelets ready for you guys. Okay, I have a really somewhat simple question for you guys. I'm thinking about getting an online degree. Now, some people may have heard of it, some people may have not. Basically, it's taking classes online instead of going to a campus. Now, if you have received an online degree, I want to ask you a question. Is it worth the time and money? I'm having a little debate in my head whether or not I should get an online degree versus an actual going to campus degree. Reason being is I want to move around a lot and I don't want to be stuck in one specific spot. So I'm thinking maybe I'll get an online degree, but I'm not sure if that's the right way or right thing to do. And I'm not sure exactly how an online degree is weighted against a typical campus degree when going for a job. So. If you guys know that answer, please, 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 please leave me a comment below or send me a message or something because I need to know before I make any quick decisions with school. So anyway, my mom and dad and I were sitting down eating dinner, eating Chipotle, and my dad got a burrito that he wasn't really used to. And there were black beans in there. I don't know if anyone knows Chipotle food, but the black beans are pretty dang spicy, at least to me and my dad. And he didn't know that they were spicy. So as he was eating them, he kind of got a little shocked. So I'm going to show you guys that clip in a second, but what me and my mom found funny was he kept saying things like, whoa, and all this stuff, like the double rainbow video. And I just thought it was really funny. Me and my mom were both cracking up hysterically with how my dad was reacting. And he was like, whoa, that's a hot burrito. And I was like, oh my God, you're so funny, dad. And he didn't get it. But <laughs> I want to share that with you guys. So here you go. Oh God, whoa. <laughs> it's about one of the hottest things I've ever eaten. Whoa is right. Whoa, where's the chicken? I don't want the black beans. Whoa. I'm breathing fire. <laughs> My tongue is killing Whoa. me, seriously. It's a hot burrito. Whoa. Whoa. What is this called? Burrito? burrito? This is a real whoa. Huh. Is it gonna hurt when I go? God almighty. What neutralizes those? <laughs> Sour cream. Yeah, where is it? 
You ate it. <laughs> Did you just look under your plate, Dad? Boy, what's, what's that? No, there's nothing under the plate. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I thought you looked under the plate for the sour cream. No. Under my plate? No. Uh -huh. I was looking in here for the sour cream. Oh. Guess what? There's a ton of black beans in here. <laughs> Get the oxygen ready. My head is really sweating. It really is. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're all snuggled in here like a, a beehive. <laughs> look. Snuggled? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Sorry. There's a whole, like a family. <laughs> Hiding. Whoa. So anyway, be sure to check out the links in the description and the little doobly-doo. I'll make something creative for my own calling of it, I guess you would say. But soon you guys won't have to click all of the links. You'll hopefully just be able to go straight to my website and you can get everything all on it soon. From here on out, I'm totally putting little links at the ends of my video to my previous and my next video. So you guys know, always it'll be there, up top. So yeah. Hopefully you guys like my video, I'm going to go wash up and read with Ty because it's that time. <laughs> Talk to you later guys.